The Alvarado Bazan class, also known as the F-100 class, is the most American modern European frigate. It is built around the Aegis combat system. The five ships of this class also symbolize the successful leap in the Spanish naval industry. As the weapon detective, we're now investigating the Alvarado Bazan class, the first European surface combatant with the Aegis system. The Alvaro de Bazan class is essentially an air defense frigate, but it can also perform other missions such as anti-surface warfare, anti-submarine warfare and land attack. Alongside military requirements, the political situation in Spain shaped this warship. A joint frigate development program had been on the agenda of some NATO countries since the 1960s. This dream came to life by establishing a research group in 1979. The feasibility studies began in 1981. Spain, which joined NATO in 1982, became a partner of the NATO frigate replacement for the 90s or NFR-90 program in 1983. However, the eight participant countries Canada, France, Germany, Italy, the Netherlands, Spain, the UK and the USA had different agendas and requirements and the partnership quickly dissolved. Germany, the Netherlands and Spain initiated the Trilateral Frigate Cooperation Program in 1993. According to this program, the participant countries would individually design their vessels but use common weapons and electronic systems. However, the Spanish Navy operated a light aircraft carrier, while Germany and the Netherlands did not have such a vessel. Their requirements for fleet air defense were different. Furthermore, the Spanish naval staff wanted a fleet in line with the US Navy, while their German and Dutch counterparts focused on an independent approach. So, Spain withdrew from the program in 1995 when the vessel design had already been completed. Madrid decided to integrate the Aegis combat system on the ship in 1996 and authorized the construction phase in 1997. These ships would replace the Spanish Navy's Baleares class frigates, a locally built modified version of the US Knox class. The first ship of the class, Alvaro de Bazan, was laid down on June 14, 1999, launched on October 31, 2000 and commissioned on September 19, 2002. Spain initially planned to build six Alvaro de Bazan class frigates. However, the last two vessels were cancelled due to economic crisis. Then, in 2007, the construction of the fifth ship, Cristobal Colón, was authorized. This frigate, which has some improvements compared to her predecessor, was laid down on June 29, 2007, launched on November 4, 2010, and commissioned on October 23, 2012. The class names of Spain's warships are based on the first digits of the pennant number of the leading vessel. So, the Baleares and Santa Maria class frigates were also defined as the F-70 and F-80 classes respectively. When Spain joined the NFR-90 program, it designated the new ship as the F-90 class. So, the Alvaro de Bazan class is also defined as the F-100 class by the Spanish Navy. The Alvaro de Bazan class is the Spanish Navy's first modern vessel with the ballistic resistant AH-36 high-strength steel in the hull. The ship has an angled stealth design. The freeboard of the stern deck is low. The outer line of the superstructure part does not match the deck line. A long bulwark is on the bow. The hull has four decks and 13 main bulkheads. Each deck has an independent filter and air conditioning system. This design increases the damage control capability and provides MBC protection. Local bulkheads in this area extend to their upper structure and the mast base to support the heavy weight of the AN-SPY-1D radar. The machinery is on anti-vibration mounts to reduce acoustic signature. The front machine room drives the starboard shaft and the aft machine room drives the port shaft. Two generators were placed in each generator room. A fin stabilizer reduces the acoustic signature further while providing better sea keeping. The exhaust gases are released into the atmosphere after cooled to reduce infrared signatures. The Alvaro de Bazan class was designed with an additional 450-ton margin 
to make the future modernizations and integration of possible new systems easier. The 26.4 meters long and 17 meters wide flight deck is supported with a recovery assistance securing and traversing system. The Spanish Navy uses the Alvaro de Bazan class with the SH-60 Seahawk helicopters. Cristobal Colon has an enlarged hangar and flight deck, so she can also operate the NH-90 helicopters. According to the Spanish Navy's official website, the complement of the Alvaro de Bazan class is 216 person. The ship has a length of 146.7 meters, a beam of 18.6 meters and a drought of 7.5 meters. Its fully loaded displacement is about 5,850 tons. The combined diesel or gas configuration propulsion system consists of two 23,664 horsepower General Electric LM2500 gas turbines and two 6,120 horsepower Badan Bravo Caterpillar 3,600 diesel engines. The top speed of the Alvaro de Bazan class is 28 knots. The range is 8,334 kilometers, in other words, 4,500 nautical miles. Unlike the first four vessels, Cristobal Colon's fully loaded displacement is 6,391 tons. She also has improved diesel engines, which provide a higher top speed. The frigate is fitted with a 1,140 horsepower retractable bow thruster for port operations. The first four vessels have the standard Aegis combat system. Cristobal Colon is equipped with the Escomba combat management system, a variant of the Aegis modified according to the Spanish Navy's requirements. The first four vessels initially had the SPY-1D baseline S1 radar, equivalent to the US Baseline 6 Phase 1. Later, these radars were modernized to the Baseline S2 standards, similar to the US Baseline 6 Phase 2. So, the frigates have gained ballistic missile detection and tracking, joint engagement and SM-2 Block 3B air defense and Tomahawk cruise missile firing capabilities. This modernization has also given them a lower elevation functionality for the bow gun, reduced reaction time and multi-missile layered missile defense features. Cristobal Colon's Aegis Baseline S3 combat system with the AN-SPY-1D V radar and advanced computer architecture is equivalent to the US Baseline 7. Its cooperative engagement, tactical ballistic missile defense, littoral water combat capabilities and resistance against electronic warfare are improved. All frigates have the AN-SPG-62 fire control radar. While the first four vessels are fitted with the US SPS-67V surface search and AN SSPS-73 navigation radars, Cristobal Colon has the locally developed RES radar used for both functions. Even though the Alvaro de Bazan class has the RIM-66M SM-2 Block 3B air defense and Tomahawk cruise missile firing capability, the Spanish Navy has not acquired them yet. The frigate's 48-cell Mark 41 vertical launching system carries 36 RIM-66L SM-2MR Block 3A and 48 RIM-162 ESSM air defense missiles. The semi-active radar-guided SM-2MR Block 3A has a range of over 160 km and a top speed of Mach 3.5. The RIM-162 ESSM has a range of 50 km and a top speed of Mach 4. The Alvaro de Badan class carries 8 RGM-84 Harpoon anti-ship missiles with a 221.6 kg semi-armor-piercing warhead. It has a range of 124 km and a maximum speed of Mach 0.85. Soon, they will be replaced with the Naval Strike Missile. This land attack capable anti-ship missile has a top speed of Mach 0.95. Its range is over 185 km. The NSM has a 125 kg high explosive blast fragmentation warhead and a high resolution passive imaging infrared seeker with advanced software that can detect, identify and discriminate the ships independently. Since the missile can choose its targets autonomously, it doesn't require pre-targeting before the launch. The Spanish Navy initially planned to fit the ships with the 76mm Compacto guns. However, it equipped the Alvaro de Bazan class with the 127mm Mark 45s, which was removed from the US Navy's Tarawa class amphibious assault ships 
and updated to the MOD2 standards. The gun has an effective range of 23 km against surface targets and 15 km against air targets. Besides, the Spanish Navy initially planned to fit the ships with the domestically produced Maroka close and weapon systems, but this has never been materialized. The first four vessels have two 20mm guns, while Cristobal Colon has two 25mm. The Alvaro de Bazan class has the hull-mounted DE-1160 LF active and passive sonar and two Mark 32 Mod 9 twin torpedo launchers with Mark 46 Mod 5 torpedoes for anti-submarine warfare missions. The 324mm Mark 46 Mod 5 torpedo has a range of 9.25 km and a speed of 45 knots. The Spanish Navy deployed Alvaro de Bazan in the Persian Gulf in 2005. It was the first deployment of a Spanish warship as a part of a US aircraft carrier battle group. Two years later, she sailed to Australia, which made her the first Spanish warship to visit this country in 150 years. In 2019, Mendez Nunez became the first Spanish naval vessel to visit the Philippines since the Battle of the Manila Bay during the Spanish-American War in 1898. The frigates of this class participated in the 2011 NATO military intervention in Libya. They waved the Spanish flag in many anti-terrorism and anti-piracy operations in the Mediterranean, Red Sea, Gulf of Aden and Indian Ocean. Blas de Leso became a part of an international task group for counter-narcotic operations in the Caribbean Sea. Alvaro de Bazan and Mendez Nunez patrolled and conducted air defense exercises around the Canary Islands. They have participated in many multinational exercises in hot areas such as the Black Sea and the Baltic Sea. Spain did not join NATO until 1982. However, the US-Spanish Defense Agreement had been signed in 1953 which had made this country a part of the Western Bloc. Thus, Washington gave some privileges to Madrid and Spain locally built national variants of Knox and Oliver Hazard Perry class frigates. Since the Spanish Navy did not want to give up these privileges, it continued to work with the USA, not the Europeans. Unlike previous projects, the Spanish naval industry has proven that it has leveled up by designing its own vessel instead of just modifying a US ship. This situation was also beneficial for the USA. A frigate-sized Aegis warship was needed in the international market. However, the USA could not provide such surface combatants. On the other hand, it could sell this combat-proven system via Spain. So, Australia and Norway preferred the variants of the Alvaro de Bazan class. Since we plan to make separate videos for the Hobart class destroyers and Friedrich of Nansen class frigates, we will not mention them here further. The Alvaro de Bazan class combines the Aegis system's excellent combat capability and the low-cost advantage of a frigate compared to a destroyer. The only disadvantage of this ship is that it has no close-in weapon system but it's just a preference. On demand, as we see in the Australian sail, the frigate can easily be fitted with them. So, even though the USA has fallen behind in the frigate race in the international market, thanks to its long-term partner, it can sell the Aegis system. Besides, Spain can offer its own ship free from the complexities of European partnership perspective, which has become bad for business many times. In this regard, the Alvaro de Bazan class symbolizes perfect cooperation for both countries. Thanks for watching our video and please don't forget to subscribe to our channel and click the bell button to be notified of our new videos. Also, you can now click the join button to support our channel. And as always, we would greatly appreciate all of your likes, comments and shares.